Welcome. My name is Mark. This is Middle School Group, and I'm glad we can connect. Today's game is called Bubble Blowout. Bubble Blowout. You're going to need some cups, some straws. We prefer the uh, colorful, flexible, you know, bendy variety. You're going to need some milk. Dad, what's and you're also going to need a pair of headphones, you know, just for safety, just in case things get noisy. Because these guys like to scream when they play this game. <laughs> you're going to smile, Eli. Dad, you guys might also want some plates, and you'll see why in just a minute. This is gonna be fun. So you better get your headphones on because this is gonna be loud. Because these kids just love yelling. Anybody have any questions? Uh, Chad, blow your nose through, oh my gosh, through the straw for the milk. Ew, that's disgusting. Wow. Never do that. Wow. <laughs> You're going to take a cup, put it on a plate, fill it with a little bit of milk, and then I'm going to demonstrate the goal of the game, which is to use your straw, blow bubbles in the milk, and try to blow all of the milk out of the cup. Ready, set, go. It's, you do. it's basically empty now. On your marks, get set, blow! Mandy's got the biggest pile of bubbles. You still have milk left, Mandy? I don't think I do. You still got milk left. You gotta move the straw around. You gotta move the straw around. You have milk left? You still have a little milk left. Mandy's can't blow anymore. Energy. You guys at home can judge who the winner was. They all got really low on the milk there. Yeah, I think you guys got the low way. No, I Good thing So glad to have another day. And speaking of days, did you know that it's international publicly confess your worst failure day? It is. I, I didn't know that till this morning. So uh, you go first. <laughs> of course I'm kidding. Although for the older students in our group, you've heard some of my stories about my biggest failures and things that I still think about, even though I know that it's in the past and I've been forgiven and so forth. We're in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. I'm going to read it out loud and you can read along if you'd like. <clears throat> God is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his Son and forgave us our sins. God is so rich. Rich in a different way than maybe we value at times. Rich in kindness and grace. Two things that you see a lot of in this first chapter of Ephesians. But I want to focus on the two other words in this passage that stand out. Freedom and forgiveness. I don't think it's a mistake that these two words are linked together so closely. Think about this. Let's think about our, our worst failure or maybe a recent failure. 
And think about the ways that our failures can hold us back and keep us from trying again or can make us start to think about ourselves in a certain way. Remember a few weeks ago I said there's a story that we are constantly telling ourselves about ourselves? Well, God is trying to rewrite that story that we're telling ourselves. He wants us to listen to His voice and get His input. And something that He wants to input into my heart and your heart today is that we are free and forgiven. Now, how did God free us and how did He forgive us? Through the blood of His Son. He's referring to Jesus on the cross. Jesus on the cross is such a beautiful picture for us. It's a beautiful example for us, but it's also the effective means by which God forgives us our sins and sets us free. The next time you feel like you've just messed up too big, the next time you feel like, oh gosh, that person probably doesn't like me still because I messed up last time, you know what? That's a perfect opportunity for you to remind yourself, to tell yourself the correct story about yourself and say, I'm free and forgiven. Lord, I receive that. I choose to believe that. And I'm going to try and walk it. I'm going to try again with this relationship. I'm going to go apologize to that person that I hurt. I'm going to ask you, God, to forgive me again, even though I keep messing up and doing the same things over and over so powerful to know that God has freed us and forgiven us. And they go together. To be free is to be forgiven. To be forgiven is to be free. I also want to just put a, one little note on the end here. When we get forgiven by God, it gives us the strength and the ability to forgive others. Now, forgiveness doesn't mean that we have to trust the person, especially if it's somebody who's doing the same thing over and over again, maybe we need to create some boundaries so that they can't keep hurting us. <clears throat> Forgiveness can be tricky that way, but I do know this from watching Christians that I respect a lot, Christians that are leaders in our group. When they have forgiven people, it's a process. It's not like overnight they just wake up and everything's fine and they never look back on that wrong again, especially if it's really hurtful things. It can take a process and sometimes you thought you had forgiven a person and it comes back up that oh gosh maybe I haven't let go of that already but in any case we need to remember that through Jesus on the cross we've been freed and we've been forgiven would you pray with me Father God today we thank you and praise you thank you that forgiveness and freedom are ours through Jesus cross through Jesus' blood on the cross. We love you so much. We're so glad to be alive. Help us to receive your forgiveness and extend it to others in ways that are wise and beneficial to ourselves and to the people around us. Lord, we pray for our world. We need so much help right now. Come and be our help, our strength, our source, our rescue. We love you. Amen. Well, I'm glad we can connect every week, even if it's only through a simple video like this. You can always reach out to me, mark at faithcenter.net, and I would especially love if you do the bubble blowout game, please send me a picture. And you know what? This is open to all ages, so if there's any adults out there watching this, you're allowed to have fun too. I love you. I know y'all still love me. Let's go love each other.